Hey guys, what's up? It's Danny V with Danny V Mobile Home TV. Coming back today with another video. We are in Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. We're at Design Homes, and these are all modular homes. We're gonna tour the one right in the back of me. This is a nice size home. Uh, it's pretty wide on the side as well. Just, I'll give you guys a just a real quick look at the side. Then we'll just go straight in. Look at that, it's pretty wide. That's pretty wide. I like it. You will really like the inside, I guarantee it. Very nice inside. A lot of things pop. And here we are inside this gorgeous house. Gorgeous house. We got stained glass window on the front door. We got this door right here, which we put your coats and stuff like that in. Put your shoes down there if you like. And that's how big it is right there. And look at this. It's a big, big living room. We've got one light, two light, three, four recess lights. We've got a big pincher window right here. I'll just kind of do a little quick pan around, give you guys a good feeling for the area. And if you guys like these types of videos, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. That will give you um, notifications about more videos that come out like this one. Every time I do a house tour, if you want to subscribe, then you can get notifications every time I do a house tour. So, yeah, look at this. I love how there's so many accents in here, like dark and light. I like that contrast. It makes it really pop. And just look over here. I'm just gonna give you a glance of over what the kitchen looks like over here. That looks really nice. Really nice. And then over here, I'm just gonna highlight this area. Right here, you, this is where your steps would be to go downstairs with the light right up on top right here. Or you could have a four foot crawl space and uh, do it that way. But might as well just have a, a basement. It doesn't really cost that much extra to do that, in my opinion. You've got three lights right here. Cool lights, modern, you know, farmhouse type lights. You got your kitchen table right here. You could put a much bigger, bigger kitchen table right here if you wanted to. You've got all this light coming in here through the patio door. Mm-hmm, I like it. It looks, this house looks really nice. And look at the ceilings. You got at least, you got nine foot ceilings here. And you got this little small, little nook door here. Um, I'm not quite sure. You could put a, you know, like a mop bucket and a vacuum cleaner and stuff like that in there. That's what I do. If you guys would put other stuff in there, go ahead and uh, type that in the comments. Let me know what you put in that and use that space for. So we come over here, you've got a nice buffet area and the nice wood dark color will last forever, like dark mahogany type color. You've got outlets, a whole bunch, oh, three of them right there. We'll open this cupboard right here. This is nice, it matches. The shelves match. And these are all adjustable. And look at that, soft clothes. How nice. Oh, what's this? I knew I kind of should have, I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna open this up. Actually, there's nothing special about this. It's just that this isn't attached to this part. So I'm like, oh, a unique feature I've never seen before. Nope. So there we go. If you wanted more shelves, you can have more shelves. So I'm not gonna go through this one, you guys already know what that looks like. This is gonna be a huge area to, you know, uh, put your keys when you come home at night, put pictures, have, have food when people come over. Look at that big drawer. It's a huge drawer. Soft clothes as well. And we got a nice island right here. We've got one, two, Outlets, I'll probably come around here and find more. Oh, just two, that's fine. Who needs more than two outlets for a small space like that, right? 
I got a little peninsula type thing here going on right here. And more outlets right there. Got gloves on and stuff because it's like 20 degrees outside in Wisconsin right now. And there's no heat on these houses, otherwise it costs them a fortune if they heat these houses. All winter long. We got a stove right here. You've got, well, you don't have a stove right there, obviously. It's nothing's there. I could say something about somebody we all know, we could be like, that thinks that something's there, it's not there. Uh, I'm not gonna go any further than that. But um, yeah, that's that's where a stove would go. Uh, we got, you got a fan right here that would blow, you know, the smoke smell and stuff like that from wherever you're cooking outside. And I like uh, the crown molding on top here. Plus I like the different, this is a different height than this, so it, it, it's not as plain as some homes are. And yeah, i um, got two shelves right here. And when you come in over, this is all marble, I can tell this is marble. Definitely marble. When you come over to this area, you got a nice light up here. You've got a huge, huge picture window. I like that a lot. Um, you've got a huge farm style sink right here. Stainless steel. And one of these bad boys to spray off food on your dishes and pans and pots. And then just imagine this, you're doing your dishes right here. And then you're just looking out the window, you know, at a beautiful day, watching your kids outside. Enjoying yourself while you're washing your dishes. And we got a pantry probably right here. Let's see what we got behind this door. Woo! Look at how far the pantry goes back. Nice. Four shelves. They're all wood. That's nice. Oh, you got even a, you got a LED recessed light up there to top it off. Nice. I like it very much. This is where you put your refrigerator, and you got some, you know, space right there, countertop space. Got a big area right here. For a cabinet. All right. Well, if we pan over here, I love the 3D look too, because it comes out like that. This house is so full of different corners and, and things. Um, I, I like all of that. Makes it look more 3D, more unique. We got a big solo light up here, big one. I don't think I've, I don't know if I've seen one that big. Right next to an LED light, that, obviously that one's not, you know, it's got some kind of film over it protecting it or something, so there's no light coming through there. But we got walking through the store right here, and then we got a uh, mudroom uh, type space where you can have a washer and dryer right here. And come over this way. You got the bathroom. <laughs> you got a door right here. Right when you walk in. You got four shelves in there. Got another solo, solo light, solo, solo light right there. Um, those never, you know, leak or anything like that, like traditional skylights do. So you never have to worry about maintenance on those things. You got your shower head, shower and tub combo right here. Your toilet and then your vanity. Those are big lights, like, like this part right here is our big. Then we got a nice ceramic sink right here. And guys, what is this? I seen this is on some of the houses. I don't understand what that is exactly because it's um I don't know what you'd use that for because it's it's kind of hard to ac access to look and see. Hey guys, hey guys, what's going on? Let me know what you guys think about that. What that is. And as we come into this room, we got two nice big windows, that's for sure. 
good size bedroom. Yeah, I mean, I'll do the, I'll do this. I'll, we'll do the hat. We'll do the hat test. Let's do the hat test. We've got a stocking cap on, like I said, it's cold. So, with that hat test right there, you can get, you know, three, four people, probably four people standing right here on the side of the window, or I mean in front of the window. Um, I definitely believe that's possible. And we've got four recessed lights in here. One, two, three, four. I'm glad I like those recessed lights. Recessed lights. We've got an area right here. Oh, it looks like my the battery's gonna die on the on the light path has here. I hope not. Looks like it's going to though. Alright, let's go look at this huge archway. I love it. White right there accents it with the dark wall. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. Yes, and here's a master bedroom. Here's one, two, three, four lights. And you just put your, I'll put your master, you know, your queen size, king size bed right here. Or you could put it right here, I guess, too. Maybe I'd probably put it right here, actually, so then people can't see your bed when you're, when they're out in the kitchen. That's what I do. Come in here and see a huge space to put all your clothes and stuff like that. All right, well, my light officially died, so um, apologize for that. Come in here. Oof, look at this. Wow, lots of light, and look at the windows. Two big windows right by the tub there. That's cool. You got regular his, hers, sinks, marble. At the mirrors as well. Hey guys, what's going on? Look at that. Yeah, it's so nice. Come in here, you got your toilet, and then we've got a door. Right here. Oh, oh and behind us we've got a, a shower. So you got a shower in here. And then you got a tub. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how much this house is. I don't know until I post these videos. I don't have the information in front of me right now. I just put towels and stuff like that in here. Shots nice and tight. Okay guys, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. It gets uh, out to a lot of people if you do that for this channel that supports this channel a lot when you hit the like button. And if you are not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so then you get notifications every time I go out and do a new video. And thanks so much for watching till the end. And I truly appreciate all my subscribers and even the ones that aren't. Subscribe if you don't want to. That's totally fine. I'm not going to try to force you into it. Um, but that really helps this channel. You guys help this channel. If I didn't have any viewers, I wouldn't be doing these videos right now at all. I would not be doing these videos if I had no viewers, no support. So you guys rock giving me support. I totally appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. So, yeah, I just want to give you my gratitude right there. So, if you have any questions, comments, don't be afraid to put them in that comment section. Otherwise, all the information about this home is in the description. Take care. God bless. Until next time, have a wonderful day.